guys, welcome to Beer 30. And My gals. And gals out there. I meant guys as a good in, a good case study see what our viewership demographic is. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's... We could find that out. percent <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Rude. Um, guys and gals, but usually when I say guys, that means everyone. Well, and you're excluding the in-between non-cisgender... Okay, yeah. we're not getting into that. Hi, people and aliens people and anyone... Eight people, people of Earth and beyond. Well, well yeah, why limit it to Earth at that point? <laughs> All right, everyone watching, he's getting, he's getting pissed. I'm Greg. That's Josh. That's also Josh. We're here to drink a beer for you. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's our, our go. Public service. Tagline. <laughs> That's really what we do. So today we're gonna bring you one from New Glarus. It is called uh, the Staghorn Oktoberfest beer. Uh, let me see if I can get the picture back up. Uh, oh, there we go. So, um, this was given by a podcast viewer, uh, Travis. He uh, he actually gave this to He gave us like three. We, we drank a mead that he gave us. And yeah, I remember that. There was another beer. And this one just it sat in the fridge. Yeah. It ended up in the back of the fridge. I don't know how that happened. And I'm like, hey, wow, I got an Oktoberfest in there. Let's give it a try. Do you think we got it after um, October? Or I think so. I think okay. so. So it hasn't been in there a year is what you're saying. Yeah. No. Well, it's no, been no. cellared for a Sure. Right. That's, cellared. The, that's the official term or right. the correct term. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, pop this open here. Yeah. Pour them. I'll read the description here. Natural, great Western and European malts, the world's most expensive hops. Fresh yeast from Germany and clear Wisconsin water make our Staghorn Oktoberfest Wisconsin's real red. You will find absolutely no additives, preservatives, or artificial agents of any kind in this beer. Staghorn is brewed using time honored methods to release the smooth flavor out of our roasted malts. This Oktoberfest combines a smooth amber body with a clean, crisp finish. Be sure to hold this up to the light, many harvest moon, and enjoy Wisconsin's real red. So, um, hmm. It's a lot lighter than most it is. Uh, I wouldn't say that's red. No, no. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's been in there a while. What? All the red has gone to the bottom of the bottle. Yes. You think it's uh, more evaporated? Of a, more of a yellow, wouldn't you say? Amber. Yeah. It said amber in the description. That's true. So I'm gonna have to say up front, Oktoberfest is probably one of my favorite beers. Yeah, I agree. I a lot think, of flavor in them. Yeah, and malty. There's not many that I don't like, so hopefully this will be no. No real head to speak of. No. Well, it's been cellar. <laughs> it it did. It disappeared quickly. No, I'm not a. No. Mm. You're not an Oktoberfest. No, I'm not a fan of this. Not not a whole lot of aroma at all, and the flavor is a little. Mm. No, I think it's got. I think it's got that spicy uh, taste that an Oktoberfest normally has. It, too it hoppy seems, for me. To it me, is hoppy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I, mean, I agree. Or it went skunky on you. One of the two. It says it's smooth. No, it's not skunky. It's supposed to be a smooth amber body with an incredible spice bouquet. Man, I... I, 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 I get tops. See, I think it's very light, and all I taste is the... I, like, get a light with some spices. I bet that's over 50 IBU. I wish you... I wish I would not have known that you've had this for a while and that you would have told me that it was from, you know, this year's brew. Yeah. I wonder if I would have felt different about it because hmm. I had it in my head that... That's a valid point. Well, I also wanted... I didn't want to let you know that... Um, I didn't want you to go... You dumped it out and replaced it yeah. with a different beer. Yeah. I wanted to let you know offhand, hey, this is... Um, I've been around a while, so it may not be the norm. Remember that one we tried... One of the third episode or fourth episode of yeah. Beer 30? It was a... Man, what was that? A, a, red, a, a red ale or something. Oh, yeah. And you go, then. this tastes like Band-Aids. Yeah. I, I have a, <laughs> and it was uh, O'Fallon beer. Yeah local brewery um you know it might be completely fine i don't know i, I it might be it. what it what it is supposed to stack i thought Oktoberfest were supposed to be a little bit more mellow than that not not quite as hot this says 6.2 
6.25 ABV. Um, IBU isn't listed. Yeah, it says no IBU. I don't. I don't really That's... understand that, but. Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't think it's as hoppy as you, but you it's, know, it's hoppy. You're also he a more. Good set, at, I got the barometer, yeah, the golden the, tongue. The barometer, the golden tongue. Now, uh, where did you uh, receive that award? High school. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't drink beer in high school. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what I'm. I didn't say you did. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Oh man! It's um, back to the beer. It's it's okay. I wouldn't buy he it. He says bad. I say okay. I, you say it I like what, it. It depends on what you're after. I th I mean, we know I'm predisposed to hate IPAs and anything right. super hoppy like that or real hop heavy on the tongue. To me, this is very hop heavy. One probably one of the more hoppier beers we've had recently. Hmm. Well, there were two IPAs in there that no, thank you. Were, were supposed to be yeah. for tonight. There was a double IPA Ugh. and another uh, different IPA. Hmm. So maybe we'll have to do those without you. You know, I've gone back and drank two of those um, Budweiser Copper Lager. Yeah, uh, the aged with Jim Beam or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're not bad. Like, they're not as bad now knowing what they are. They're growing oh, on you. I got you. Yeah, you, like, you think your expectation was too high of them? Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. So maybe it, that was the case with this. I don't know. Hmm. Or it's just a psychological effect of knowing that it's been sitting in your fridge for a year. Right. I. I don't know. I. I. I think it's good. It's not my favorite Oktoberfest, but I think it's decent. I. I'd say I'd give it a B or something. You know, around a B. I say C minus. I'm gonna say no grade. No grade. I, I, I don't want to so insult low. anyone. <laughs> I don't want to insult anyone. I mean, it's not. I don't know. It's not my bag, so. It's not my bag, baby. What are you, Austin Powers? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have the golden tongue. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, everyone, um, there you have People it. People of Earth. We've, uh, we've just drank a beer for you. Um, check so out, you don't have to. So you don't have to. You should thank us. Check out other videos on uh, Beer30.tv or just search for Beer30TV on YouTube. Also, uh, check out our podcast, StuckInBetaPodcast.com. We'll see you next time. See ya.